Look at the gap as it's a Ferrari and a Red Bull battle. Welcome back everyone to some more F122 driver career mode. Uh, time to go to the Japanese Grand Prix. Last time out, of course, we had a stunning row of developments. So regarding the car, second best car on the grid with some neat uh, new engine components that we've been putting into the car. We still have a full set of 0% worn engine components that we can dip our hands into sometime later on in the season. We still have six Grand Prix remaining, including this one. We got Japan today, and then we got the US, Mexico, and then Portugal, so Portimao coming up, and then Brazil and UAE to round out the season. So yeah, we got quite a few races remaining, and we're sitting P3, just 15 points behind Verstappen, so let's hope that we can close the gap on him. But other than that, I think our upgrade should be full. Aerodynamics were full. Uh, it seems like chassis department brake upgrade is yet to be triggered. Powertrain, everything's full except for supplier upgrades as well as durability. Everything unlocked except for the supplier upgrades. So this is fantastic news. Let's just head into the Japanese Grand Prix then. Nothing expected. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. Here we go then with the qualifying session of the Japanese Grand Prix around Suzuka. Now the car is very broken. Uh, Max now car is absolutely trash in this game. So acceleration is a little too powerful. Braking is a little too strong. So we lock up a lot of the time. So I barely have to go 100%, but it does put me off my driving a little bit. So we'll see how fast we can actually be here in Japan. No rain expected at all for the weekend. So I think we can just set a lap time and we should be good. So let's head on out there see where we sit okay here we go first lap I was zoned in on trying to finish my lap completely forgot I was on a push lap five times off the pace of Albon let's try to find that uh, only 91 thousandths away from Norris after that lap it was a solid one. By the end of the session, uh, we just stayed in after that first couple of laps that we ran. And P10, just behind my teammate by about a tenth, not bad. And then knocked out our Magnus and the TV Schumacher, Lawson and Stroll. So moving on to Q2. Alright, here we go. We're in the drop zone, but this is the lap that matters. Fresh softs, low fuel in the car, just enough to do about two laps. But we're just going to do this one because qualifying is over as we always do. Try to bite as much of the apex as we can. A little wheel spin out of the final corner. But we're almost a full second ahead of our previous time. Let's see. Where does that put us? P3. Okay. This is a good chance of possibly getting into the top 3 for the race. Yep, there we have it. Final lap P3. Only a tenth off of Verstappen. So it's not too far away. I think we can get Verstappen here. Uh, in the next qualifying session. Knocked out our Russell, Schwartzman, Drugovic, Sonoda, and my teammate Joe Guan Yu out in Q2. What a shame. But it's me, myself, and I alone in the Red Bull going through to the final round. Let's see where we place this car for the race. Here we go then. This is it. Final lap of Q3. This is going to be where we sit for the race. Good. Let's see. Crossing the line. Where do we sit here? That was a solid lap, I will say. I was concentrating. P2. Front row. I wonder how, what the delta is between myself and the car and pole. I mean, I gotta say, 2 tenths, 2.6 tenths is quite sizable, so it's respectable to Leclerc. Ferrari, the fastest car on grid, of course. P2 is solid position. Let's see if anyone takes penalties. Maybe Leclerc will take penalties. We will see. But. Good starting position. Let's convert this into another podium finish. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today at the Japanese Grand Prix?
18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit, with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Maverick completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Verstappen, Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Albon, Ocon and Guan Yu Zhou, Sonoda, Drogovic, Robert Schwartzman and Russell, Liam Lawson, Mick Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi and Daniel Tickton. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Magnussen and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we go then, P2 confirmed, no penalty for Leclerc. We're going to start on the mediums here because it's going to be a harder to soft compound strat. We also have the opportunity to go on to the hards, of course. So let's edit this strategy to include the medium and the hards. And I think we can do that around, yeah, lap 14. So half of the Grand Prix on the mediums, half on the hards is a possibility, but it doesn't seem like it's necessary. Tire wear seems to be quite manageable. Drop my fuel a little bit more and let's get this race underway. So the formation lap gets underway here in Japan. This circuit is one of the favorites amongst the drivers and I'm sure each and every one of them is looking forward to the race ahead. All of them hoping they can leave Suzuka on a high note. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. Quite surprised by how many medium compound tire runners there are but let's hope for a good race start here lights out and away we go decent start but losing out to leclerc a bit oh, how much grip does he have i'm struggling for grip already AI super OP on these S curves. Yeah, I'm on. What? Already exceeding track limits? You're kidding. What is the McLaren doing? Or Mercedes doing? We're okay, I think. Uh, vehicle condition. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. All right. So far, so good. Trying to defend against the McLaren there. I am so slow compared to the AI. Jesus Christ, they're super good around here. I'm surprised I even got P2 in qualifying at that rate. I do make the most time up in Q3 or sector three, but I do need to bite through those corners a lot in order to get that benefit. Come on, Leclerc's really running away with it. Going wide doesn't help either. Come on, Sue, stay clinical. I hate this circuit to be honest because the AI super OP. Oh, yellow flag. Someone has a yellow flag. Not quite sure what that was. Come on, let's push. Really don't know what's going on here. I mean, I think Joe's off in sector two by the hairpin. 
I'm losing out so much in the early stages of the lap. So sector 1 and early sector 2, I lose out so much. And the sector 3, I really gain on them. On the AI, that is. So I'm really losing out in the early stages because the AI has more grip than I do. Which is quite surprising. Yeah, not quite sure what's going on here. I'm being caught up by signs, my golly. Car is so bad. Like, I don't know how Codemasters get this wrong every single year. The max out car is worse than the starter car. Like, that is so backwards. I like that it has power. Don't get me wrong. But the braking is so broken. Absolutely broken. Like, I go full force, lock up, straight on into the gravel. So, yeah, I have to be cautious about it. Jesus, Leclerc is a full 10 seconds ahead. 9.5 seconds. We need to try and push. If my calculations are correct, the AI is going to pit this lap because they're on mediums. Means that they'll move on to the hards. I'm getting the overcut on them by a massive mile because I'm going to be going on to the softs. Tires are still okay, not going to lie. Alright. So let's see if Leclerc pits this lap. 130R. I think he is. He is pitting. Hards are going on to Leclerc's car. I'm going to keep Sainz company, I think. As we go in another lap. Okay, so we overtake Leclerc who's moving on to the hards. I'm going to be going on to the softs. Let's see if I do have the better strat going for me. Okay, I can definitely feel signs of presence here. It's right on my bum. So, he's gonna pit this lap for sure. Oh, that was dangerously wide. I need to clean 130R up. In he goes. And I'm free, all by myself okay. up in front. Pit window coming up soon. I'm setting 129s consistently. Box this lap. Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. Okay, here we go. 2.6 ahead of size. And we go. Optimal. Onto the softs. 2.3. Fantastic stop. Leclerc just gets ahead now. Signs is at the chicane. I think we should beat him out of the pits. Now, what's the gap to signs? That's the big question. Let's see. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty. Is it a sizable gap, do you think? 2.2 seconds ahead. 1.9. I'll take that. We'll try to pull away on the softs. Not like that, though. Come on, let's clean this up. Down to 9.3. Fastest lap as well. 127.2. We'll close down to 9 seconds ahead. I doubt it that we'll be able to catch him. Because this is not like a Monza circuit where I'm very confident to push. But we'll try our best. Alright, these tires have gone past their peak. So now it's all about maintenance. Let's just get P2 on fastest lap. I'd be quite satisfied with that considering the Ferrari is much faster than the Red Bull. And we're off. Need to try and preserve P2. Struggling there in the final corner. Try and keep signs behind. Alright, let's see out this race. Truly embracing the Ferrari versus Red Bull this season. Signs right behind. Leclerc has won it by 14 seconds. I hope I do secure the fastest lap here. I probably should. But look at the gap to the rest of the field. Albon, 11 seconds behind. As it's a Ferrari and a Red Bull battle up ahead. Yikes. That is how fast we are. That's how fast this rivalry is compared to the rest of the field. Should Leclerc cannot beat my fastest lap time. I don't think Sainz can either. Let's see. Crossing the line here. 
for P2 with fastest lap, I believe, should be a solid result for today. Hot job, my friends. Hot job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you pulled through. Thank you very much. Great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Quite a wild result, but we do secure the fastest lap and P2. Leclerc gets the top step of the podium with Sainz in third. Albon, Verstappen, Ocon, Gasly, Djokovic, Sonoda, and Tictum in the points. Schwartzman, Russell, Schumacher, Joe, Lawson, Magnussen, Alonso, and Norris outside the points. Stroll and Latifi round out the finishers. No DNFs today, which made it a very quiet and, you know, boring, monotonous Grand Prix. Standings wise, kind of similar to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, by the way. Standings wise, we're only six points behind Verstappen. Very nice. I'll take that. Only six points behind. So the race is on for the P2 position of the driver's standings. We're only 62 points away from Norris. We need a couple wins and fastest laps, please. And we're 151 points behind McLaren. I think that should be almost a foregone conclusion for us. But we are not too far away. 48 points away from Mercedes. So let's see if we can catch them up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it's, if it's a bit mundane, but it is what it is. We did our best to get fastest lap and P2. And that is what we got today. So this is brilliant. The Ferrari Red Bull miles ahead of everyone else. And let's keep this domination going. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support take care and i'll see you guys in the next one